In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, schooled always in good works, and so comfort them with your protection here as to lead them graciously to gifts on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem said, Come, let us contrive a plot against Jeremiah. It will not mean the loss of instruction from the priest nor of counsel from the wise, nor of messages from the prophets. And so, let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. Heed me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. Must good be repaid with evil, that they should dig a pit to take my life? Remember that I stood before you to speak in their behalf, to turn away your wrath from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. I hear the whispers of the crowd that frighten me from every side as they consult together against me, plotting to take my life. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord, I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless glory, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, 
he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priest, the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine seat one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt, but it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, dear sisters and brothers. We wish to welcome in our midst the students and teachers from Pateros Catholic School. Maligayang pagdating po ulit dito sa Manila Cathedral. You know, dear sisters and brothers, true greatness lies on one's capacity to become the least and the last. You know, we often aspire to become great before others, to excel, and to become the first among equals. But sometimes, our quest for greatness could be a way to downgrade and humiliate others while it can be a healthy competition, but it is still good to ask, how did you become great? Paano ka naging pinakadakila? Paano ka, pinaka, paano ka naging pinakamagaling sa lahat? In today's gospel, we heard Jesus, together with his disciples, walking towards Jerusalem, and while on the way, Jesus explained to them the fate he, will be up, he was about to face, that the Son of Man will be handed over and condemned to death. He will be mocked, flogged, criticized, crucified, and on the third day, he will be raised from the dead. And this is the third time that Jesus' passion was predicted. And it seems that the disciples did not understand it well. They were still thinking that Jesus' messianic entrance to Jerusalem will defeat and humiliate the Romans. What they see is the glory of a king enrobed with earthly wealth, power, and honor. But Jesus' glory is a reversal of what man can see. His throne of glory will be the cross. 
He will be treated as the least and the last. He will be condemned to death, mocked, flogged, and crucified. And so when the mother of James and John pleaded the Lord to let her two sons sit at his right and left in his kingdom, it could be that she doesn't know what she is asking from the Lord. Yes, they can drink the cup he is about to drink, that is to suffer and endure persecutions and martyrdom. But what Jesus would like to convey is more than this. Towards the end of the gospel, Jesus taught them the way to true greatness. Whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant and whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave. That is what it means to be great among others. To be great is to become a servant, someone who has the capacity to embrace the least, the last, and the lost. Not just to know and understand their situation, but to embrace means to become like them. Humble, docile, and dependent. Sometimes, our notion of greatness simply lies on power and honor. Pinakadakila, pinakamagaling tayo kung mas makapangyarihan tayo sa iba. Kung nasasapawan at nahihigitan natin yung iba. But Jesus teaches us that the way of the cross is the best way to become great. Please stand. Mindful of the words of Jesus that the greatest is the one who serves, we pray to God our Father for a true spirit of service among all people. In every petition we will say, Lord, make us true servants. Lord, make us true servants. That the leaders of the church may be true servants, acting with the same concern that Christ showed to his followers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us true servants. That government leaders may exercise their power for the good of the people and avoid discord and distrust. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us true servants, that we may realize that success in God's eyes is not measured by the standards of the world, but by the respect we give to our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us true servants, that those who are sick may realize that their suffering, endured in union with Christ, can be turned into a great blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us true servants, that the dead may reap the rewards of their earthly sufferings in eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us true servants. Heavenly Father, help us to serve each other by imitating your Son, who laid down his life for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, on the sacrificial gifts we offer you, and by this holy exchange, Undo the bands of our sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, Join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, our God, that what you have given us as the pledge of immortality may work for our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Wednesday Family Rosary tonight at 9 o'clock in the evening will be hosted by the community of Our Lady of Hope Chapel, the House of Prayer and Evangelization in Nampikuan, Nueva Ecija. You can tune in on the Facebook page of the Manila Cathedral. Let us gather as a family and as a community to pray and ask the intercession of Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bestow upon your servants, Lord, abundance of grace and protection. Grant health of mind and body. Grant fullness of fraternal charity. And make them always devoted to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless and protect you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.